Hello Leos and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 17th guys. I know this last week there was a lot of stressful energies going on, a lot of anxiety, just in general. So a lot of you guys felt that perhaps on a personal level, especially when it comes to your goals and where you want to be and getting that frustration. It's about Mars placement. You might want to check that out, whether that's at in your chart right now. Now this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, so please be sure to check all three, and if you're not sure, there's a free calculator down below. And if you would like access to your weekly love forecast, please support me on Patreon, and you'll have access to all 12 love forecasts every single week. That's an additional 48 videos a month. All right, Leos, let's get started. It is your season after all. Yes, yes. And please, I'm clarity card here, please. Okay, and a theme for the week. Let's do this, Leo. That's my rising, the world. King of Wands, Four of Wands, Knight of Coins, Two of Swords, Six of Coins, Three of Cups, the Death card, the Clarity card is the Ace of Wands. Theme of the week is the Emperor. This is a good week. Starting right out the week, you know what this week is? It's it's really the beginning of new cycles and answers to your prayers in so many ways. You, know, you might have been wanting to kind of really step it up financially, maybe, or romantically, or, you know, um, your experiences. You are beginning new cycles of expansion. I'm going to write that down for your thing. <laughs> Sorry. And that's really what this is for you. And when you start out with the world card, this is about endings, but not endings like the death card. This is about wrapping up cycles, karmic cycles, lessons, experiences, patterns. And it's a happy ending. It's like, I've completed this. And what's beautiful about the world is while it's wrapping up a, you know, a cycle in your life, it's, it's opening you up to a whole new experience, a whole new realm, a whole new level. Now, when you have it with the King of Wands, with the Four of Wands, the big part about this experience for you is in the realm of your creative vision, the legacy you want to leave, not just creatively and, and career wise, the legacy you want to leave perhaps as a father, as a mother, as a husband, as a wife, as a partner. So these are, are in areas that you're trying to create in your life. So when you think about you know, your vision, you can think about, you know, your drive, your ins what inspires you, you know, maybe you want to write that book or start that business or that nonprofit, maybe you want to have that podcast, you really want to get this idea or these thoughts out there, because you're thinking, how can this serve the bigger picture? How can I leave a legacy or an energy that's going to infiltrate not just me or my friends, but the world? How can I help? How can I contribute? The King of Wands is, while a visionary, is a very generous person and always thinks about others as well. Not so much the details. That's okay. You can hire people for that later or may, maybe it manifests people to come in and assist you. But this is a bigger vision and you have it with the Four of Wands. So not only is this vision that you're going to implement going to be successful financially, the Four of Wands is all about abundance and prosperity, buying that house you've been wanting, really having a foundation to grow from. It's not just that way, but it's also on a personal level. The Four of Wands is the card of marriage, sharing your home with somebody, having a family. It's your own like physical legacy. You know, and of course, it doesn't have to be biological. You can have fur babies. But this is about you really rooting and flowering. You know, you put a plant in a pot, it can only grow so big. You plant it in soil, oh, the roots can run deep and it can grow bigger. And this is what this is. You're reaching out for something bigger and you're you're planting your roots deeper somewhere else. Do you understand this? An expansion, this whole other arena of life. Now you have the nine of coins with the two of swords and the six of coins. There's a lot to get done, Leo. A lot of things. And it's not just like, oh my God, five million things in my place. A lot of unfinished things. You have a lot of commitments, ideas, and goals that you must honor. And you're going to buckle down and get that done. For some of you, you might even have a masculine energy that's looking out for you and kind of helping you along, but there is so much to accomplish. Will it take a lot of energy? Yes, but it'll also take a lot of excitement and fervor. Like for instance, if you know you're going to buy a house, pay off those credit cards, you know, stop those subscriptions that you don't you use. If you know you want to start a business, reach out to people, send out emails, open, you know, do your research, get things going so we can have this clean playing field. Do you understand? Now you do have the two of swords here, so don't overanalyze things. It ain't going to help you. Sometimes when we overanalyze, we think we're, 
you know, figuring things out. No, you're just procrastinating. You're going in circles mentally because that's where the problem started. So if you think you're going to have a solution there, I think not. Everything will be better if you just make decisions, especially financially. You have that six of coins here. So I know a lot of your concerns, guys, are you're stressed with money. So you, I'm not saying things are going bad, but maybe you are buying that house, that car. Maybe you are investing in something like, oh my God, I'm strapped. Or what if I do this and things, and my my business doesn't go, you know, it's that, that negative thinking, but it's also stress. Understand that as you serve, as you give, so shall you receive. Now, I'm not saying to give in that spirit, but understand when we get really freaked out, we can become really egocentric. Like our whole world revolves around us. And it only makes, it only digs the hole deeper. So do yourself a favor. You have the six of coins with the three of cups. Focus on somebody else. Go help somebody move. Go help somebody figure out their problems. Go help somebody clean out their closets or go be a, a shoulder to lean on. Focus on somebody else. And when you do that, not only do you serve, but you let go of lack energy in your own field. You raise your vibration because you're coming from a heart center place and you help somebody else. And guess what? All the manifestations that are already lined up in your, your field, they flow on in. And if you can't do that, just go have fun. The three of cups is go celebrate. Celebrate the good things. You know, there's probably tons of things, Leo, that have been lining up for you. And instead of really just being excited and enjoying it, you're just stressed. What about this? And what about that? I get it. I'm arising. But it's not necessary. Just celebrate the little things. Screw it. Life will figure itself out. Cross that bridge when you get to it. And I know, trust me, I understand exactly what you're feeling. But it doesn't help us and it's really bad on our nervous system. So go out, have fun, go to the beach, go to the park, go on a hike. Now you do have the death card with the ace of wands. That's the clarity card. The death card is endings. Let go of the past. Don't be afraid to embark on this new journey. Don't be afraid to bite off more than you can chew. You're going to be able to handle it, I promise. When you have the ace of wands, it's because... Old ways is, is going and new opportunities, new jobs, new careers, travel, even moving. You know, this is all coming in. And yeah, it's going to be vastly different than before, but isn't that what you want? Before only had these experiences only got you so far. So if you want new experiences and to go farther, it only stands to reason that you have to do different things and go different places, right? Embody different energies. You're going on a whole new, embarking on a whole new journey. A whole new journey, Leo. And I'm so happy to see this for you. The theme of the week is the emperor. Taking control of situations. Remember, we have that knight of coins. Take control. Be ambitious. Three, be three steps ahead. And, and, the, and the emperor, too, by the way, is highly efficient, stable. And that's why when you have the world card and the knight of coins card, it's not very efficient. We have all these loose ends. And when I say loose ends, it doesn't have to be crazy. Maybe you have four bags in the garage that you need to take to, to goodwill. Maybe you have to finish out sending off that paperwork. Wrap up all the loose ends. Take control of your schedule, take control of your vision, and get what you can get done. Get it going. Be ambitious. You're the force behind all the changes happening in your life along with the divine. So get moving, guys. I hope this serves you. If you like a more in-depth tarot session, a soul reading, a healing session, my link is down below. Or access to your love reading. If you like that, have access to all 12 zodiac signs. The link is down below for my Patreon page. Otherwise, guys, I will see you next week for next week's readings.